Wasabis. This is Jerby from Couch Wasabi. So for today's video, I will be sharing with you my review on the set of Burial Essential Oils. So, so they actually sent me their entire set of new oils. Here's how it looks like. Ito yung bago nilang oils. As you can see, it's labeled more presentably. Um, to me, mas maganda siya ngayon. Here's the old packaging. And then here's the new one. So as you can see, parang mas professional yung bago niyang packaging. So anyway guys, if this is something that you'd want to learn about, please keep watching. Alright, so they sent me 17 oils in total. And they actually got in touch with me about 2 months ago, before I actually left for Davao pa. Um, I just had the time to sit down on it now kasi nga, I got busy with my um, new soap studio. If you haven't seen that, I will link the video down below or put it up in the cards here so you can check out our new soap studio. I'm very, very proud of that and I'm so excited to conduct our classes starting this March and moving forward. Okay. So going back to burial, they sent it to me. They got in touch with me before I left for Davao. And they told me that they saw my video last December. If you guys have been following me on my channel, you know I have already talked about burial previously. In fact, last December, I purchased a couple of their oils. I purchased four of their oils um, through Lazada. And I was really disappointed by it. I shared it through the video na it didn't really I wasn't really wowed at it and in fact I felt that um, these are not pure and you know naman I always tell like my unfiltered um, opinion unfiltered feedback on everything here on my channel it's as raw as it can be it's like when you're talking to me face to face ganun din talaga ako magsalita and um yeah, I, I just felt that it's not pure, especially when I smelled their ilang ilang oil. I also give this as an example in my classes of how artificial it seems to me. Especially that ako, I personally love ilang ilang, and I've smelled ilang ilang essential oil across brands. I actually have a lot of ilang ilang right now in front of me, and um, I also give this experiment to some of my students when they come here at the studio. Ko talaga sa kanila. So they have that first-hand experience of comparison. Because I know not everyone will buy all like lavender across brands. Not everyone will buy all ilang ilang across brands. It's just me. It's just part of my ano career dohan. <laughs> okay, so I was actually disappointed by burial last December, and I posted it here on my channel. And they got in touch with me last month to tell me that they have actually improved or changed their supplier therefore their new sets of oils should be better and i was really happy when they got in touch with me because not everyone will do that i have talked about millions of brands i have shared my positive and negative opinion about them it's my opinion so you can take it you cannot it's up to you but i'm just sharing what i think i'm not saying it's like the end all be all but it's what I think. So, <laughs> um, I shared my opinion and I think that their oils aren't pure. They didn't um, confirm or not the man about it. So, they just said that um, they saw my video and they wanted to make it right. So, they wanted to send me their new oils. Um, bearing the fact that they have changed their supplier. Therefore, they are getting it from a more credible source, I believe. And because before now, it's sourced from a local supplier so these new sets the ones that has the nicer labels are from a foreign supplier um and so yeah i told them yeah of course I'd, I'd love to try it i mean for a company to get in touch with me and for them to take that initiative na parang they want to make it right it actually honestly impressed me because marami na akong um brands that I talked about that I didn't really like and talked about it, some of them actually um, blocked me or reacted negatively from it. And this is the first brand, to be honest. This is the first brand who came up to me again 
and said they want to make it right. So parang wow. That's a really nice um business ethic. I I really like that. So yeah, sure, sabi ko. Um please send it to me. I'd love to get to know more about your brand. I'd love to support more Filipino companies coming out with all these credible and pure brands and companies of essential oils. I mean, the world is so huge. There is a lot of space for everyone to succeed, diba? There's a lot of space for everyone to put up their business. So, yeah, they sent me their 17 sets of oils. I love the new packaging. I love that um, they put here na it's for external use only. I think that's responsible. And then they put here yung um, Latin binomial. Diffuse up to one hour, three times daily. I'm not really um, agreeing to that, but at least they have those some, somehow basic um, beginner friendly information right off the bat sa label nila. Okay. Alright. So let's start with the smell test. These are 17 sets of oils. It's gonna be a lot, but I'd love to do that every single time. I mean, come on. If you are an oil lover like me, heaven it all, girls. <laughs> and if you guys are part of my team in Young Living, I have a free essential oil class with all of my members monthly. So para it's just a dedicated day in the month that I set for my team to come over and spend the morning or spend the afternoon oiling with me. Like you can bring your sets of oils, whatever brand you like. We'll talk about them, we'll compare our oils. I mean, it's not a, you know, it's it's not a, an opportunity that you you get all the time because, you know, everybody's just so busy. But I set aside time for this, for my team, to bond with them over oils, okay? I'm just bringing up all my lavender oils. I know I have a lot to compare with, you know. Because lavender is one of the most basic oils and a lot of um, oil newbies would most likely have lavender in their kit, okay? So right now, I have six lavenders with me from across brands. Okay, so here's Beryl. Tapos Plant Therapy, I have Florihana, I have Eden's Garden, I have Casa de Lorenzo, and I have Zella Roma. Three of which are local, three of which are foreign. Let's start with Beryl. Okay. Alam mo may iba sa kanya. Um, parang may alcohol, parang ganyan. This is pure plant. You can smell it right off the bat. Hindi ko memorize yung amoy nila. So it's always parang I'm just smelling it as it is. Di sabi um, kung sino yung kasama niya ngayon. Okay. Oh, super plant smell. I'm actually, ano, Tinitipid ko itong lavender ko <laughs> ng Florihana because it's a little expensive. And, and this is um, the bottle that I got from my student supplies kit. So, yan yung ginagamit ko when I'm studying, when I'm reviewing. Next is Eden's Garden. S um, very planty, pero iba than plant therapy. May konting difference siya, but it's, alam mo, gonna plant. Um, going back to Beryl, ah. Alam mo, may iba talaga sa kanya. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little different. It's a little different. Dinaanan ko na siya a couple of weeks back. Binuksan ko na siya, inamay ko na siya. Some of the oils, I think, okay. Some of the oils, hindi masyado. But this is my first time to sit down on it and then smell it against as compared to other brands. I love ano. I love Casa de Lorenzo's Lavender. Wait, I have po yung Living's Lavender. Wait. Here. So, sama din natin sa bunch. I actually have seven lavender. I like Casa de Lorenzo's. It's lavender. Ito, mahalimuyak. Zella Roma's Lavender. It's mahalimuyak. <laughs> I like it. Um, Your lavender oil will never or there's a high chance of it to smell different kasi um parang lavender in my experience uh, lahat ng naamoy ko lavender 
it's always kind of different, like same but somehow different. May mga ganun siya. And it's never really exactly the same across brand. And it will never be, even if within the brand, parang pag nag ka lang ng batch coat, mag iba siya sometimes. Because the smell is affected by the environmental factor during its growth and even harvesting. So, nag iba iba talaga siya. To me, what's important is dapat, it should smell closer to the plant, or that's how I want my oils to be. And when I smell different kinds of brands, and I feel the parang mm, may iba, I kind of don't wanna deal with that. Parang I, I kind of don't, I kind of wanna stay away from it. Pag meron ako na sa sense na iba, like if there's uh, my alcohol or parang mm, parang meron iba, mm, I don't really like it. I'm sorry, pero I still love Young Living's lavender over everything else. Parang kung si Zelle ano mamahali mo yak, sobrang mas mahali mo yak na lavender ng Young Living. It's um, it's like pleasant and it's really uplifting. Pag kasi parang sa plant therapy and Eden's Garden, you know that it's close to plant, but you know that there are plants. You know what I mean? Parang it's plant. It's plant kanya. <laughs> Pero okay naman mo bang? I'm not saying it's mabaho ah. Parang hmm, plant. I like it. Pero pag naamoy mo yung Young Living, it's like Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Parang ganyan. I want to relax. Yeah. Okay, so next oil. So, alright. So, for lavender, I kind of don't like it. I'm sorry. Next oil is peppermint. I think I have a few peppermints here. I gave some to my sisters. Kasi peppermint is something that I don't really use a lot of. So, pinamigay ko yung iba. <laughs> oh, Ayan, meron din ako sa student supply skin. Yeah, yung ano ko, Eden's Garden ko na peppermint, I gave it to my sister. So, I only have like, um, four of these. So, yung mapapansin nyo kung ano yung mga oils na medyo mas gusto ko. Kasi marami ako across brands. I have four peppermints here. I have one from my student supply kit. I have from plant therapy, from burial, and from zellaroma. So, two of, um, each. Two imported and two local. I think that's a good range. Let's start with Beryl. I like it. I like their peppermint. It's it's nice. Um, it's really refreshing. Parang amoy candy itong um, Norfolk essential oils. Para siyang mint candy. Next is um. Plant therapy. Okay then. Um, it reminds me of ano, yung parang mga baking goods store. <laughs> Next is Zelleroma. Hmm. Parang mas ano ito, mas plant. Yung parang wala siyang, I don't know, you, you know what they're saying about doTERRA's peppermint versus Young Living's peppermint. Na parang mas amoy candy yung sa doTERRA. And I feel that parang sometimes, hmm, I can't describe it eh, pero parang ito, mas amoy plant siya. So, there's nothing wrong with this. In fact, I like it. Kasi it's closer to plant. I kinda like Iona closer to plant. But, what I'm saying is that Beryl's peppermint is also not plant. When we're just relying to smell. In fact, it's a little strong. Yung parang may, may comfort mental siya. Parang ganyan. So, yan. Next is lemon. Lemon is something that's usually um, constant across brands. Yung parang wala nang masyadong nag-iiba sa kanya. Even if you smell lemon sa iba-ibang brand, most likely pareho lang ang amoy niya. I've tested it across many, many brands. And in my experience, there's not much difference about it. So let's start with Beryl. I have four lemons here. Again, two imported and two local. It smells like lemon. Um, expected. Expected na ito. Next is from Student Supplies Kit. Um, this is from Mikael Zayat. Lemon. Wala, wala talagang masyadong difference for lemon. You can't tell much about it. Zelleroma. It smells so good. <laughs> I like it. And then, Young Living. I keep Young Living Lemon because I use it for my skincare. 
Yung fact, masusukoy amoy ng Zella Roma Lemon. Mas mabang yung Zella Roma Lemon. But I do keep this for my masks and facial care and everything. Okay, next oil. Our fourth oil is Spearmint. I think I only have two. Spearmint ko ng Zella Roma and Spearmint ko ng Beryl. Okay. More or less, memorize ko na naman yung... Uy, bago pa. <laughs> More or less, memorize ko na naman yung... Kung anong meron ako. No, I think I have three. Kasi I have pa pala... Doterra. Tama ba? Yes, I do. Tada! I have Doterra Spearmint. Iba yung umay niya. It's not the Spearmint that I remember. Not saying it's bad, but it's different. I honestly love um, Zella Roma Spearmint. It's one of their... It's one of the oils that they have na sobrang gusto ko talaga. A whole other class itong doTERRA Spearmint. I swear. <laughs> I think I have ano. I also have pala Young Living Spearmint. So let us compare it with the rest. Ah, oh, mabango din. This smells like your, ano, baking goods store. So, compare ko nga ulit. Iba yung amoy ng Zeleroma. It's closer to plant talaga. I think that's one of the reasons why I like them. Kasi, when you compare them versus other companies, it's closer to plant. And I kinda like that. Iba to. Iba siya. May ibang amoy. Next is eucalyptus. I think I have a lot of eucalyptuses here. Um, I have from Zeleroma. I have from my school. Yeah, I do. And then I also have from now. Eucalyptus yun yung amoy vix. So, let's smell it. Amoy vix. Pero ano, may... May end note siya na iba. May end note siya na iba. Mm, Amoy Vicks. Nicole, I'm not really into eucalyptus. It's one of the oils that I don't really like. I, but, but bakit ko binila yung malaki, no? <laughs> Kasi I use it a lot in my blending. Kaya ako siya binili ng malaki. Mm. Amoy Vicks siya talaga. Basically, uh, how Vicks smells like, that's eucalyptus. Not my favorite. And then I have from Mikhail Zayat from my student supplies kit. Eh, di gusto yung amoy. Mm. It smells like plant from this one. I don't like it. Next is tangerine. Okay, I have a couple of tangerine here. Tangerine is Reticulata. Citrus reticulata. Kasi, in other companies, see, in my student supplies kit, it's called red mandarin. So, I just want to make sure that I'm comparing like the correct set of oils. I have a lot. I love oranges. I love sweet orange. See, you buy sweet orange. So, let's not compare that. Okay, I have four tangerines here. So I have from doTERRA, I have from my school, and then Young Living, and then K-Burial. Okay, Usually it smells the same for you know, tangerine and sweet orange. Ang nice niya. I like it. Oh, this smells like fruit. As in, I just ate tangerine a couple of days ago, so parang ah. So Red Mandarin from my student supplies kit, although it has the same Latin binomial citrus reticulata. Oh, so good. Reminds me of my childhood. Sobrang gusto ko to. Kaya tinitipid ko siya. This reminds me of my childhood. When I was young, I eat a lot of ano, pong cam and um, basa citrus fruits. I love them. Tapos I hated apples. Hey. Okay naman. It's nice. Hmm, almost 
almost the same with the you no know, young living. There's not much difference with this. I keep it because I love citrus fruits. I love them. Going back to Beryl. When you've smelled all the other tangerines and then you smell this again. Ma amo mo may iba sa kanya. I don't know. I I have to like show this to my students to my team and then i would i would love to hear what they think about it like, next is clary sage i have i think um two clary sage only or i think three i have three yeah so i have it from flory hana i have it from plant therapy and i have it from burial clary sage ng burial it smells fragrant i like it Amoy plant, yung kay plant therapy, as in amoy twigs and everything. <laughs> it smells like plant. So, I also like it too. This one, I know, I remember, I love this so much. Kaya tinitpid ko rin ito. So, oh, it smells like your Lola's plant. <laughs> it smells like an aged plant, but, yung na, I, I tend to want um, things that are closer to their source. So, I love that. But, um, mabango yung kay Beryl. It's like it's really fragrant. Mabango siya. If that's my opinion, okay? I'm not saying it's pure, so. <laughs> Next is Copaiba. I have lang from Zellaroma. Copaiba. Wala silang Copaiba. Yay! Meron ako sa ibang brand. Hold on. Copaiba. I know I have one. There. I only have it in Eden's Garden and Beryl. Baha ang copaiba niya. Amoy grounding oil. Pero sa Eden's Garden hindi. Pero amoy duma. Um, I don't really like the smell of copaiba. Uh, the main use of this for me is pwede mo siyang ilagay sa mga pain. So, parang, it's an enhancer oil, and it's also a good respiratory support oil. But, as it is, I don't really like diffusing this. I use my Copaiba more on topical application. Pero yung Copaiba ng Beryl, it smells, it smells different to me. It smells like, ano, patchouli. Iba yung amoy niya, mabigat. Luma, ganyan yung amoy. Next is tea tree. I think I have a handful of tea tree. I have tea tree from... Kumahanap yung tea tree ng ano yun. Tea tree ng Zellaroma. I have tea tree from Young Living. And I know I have tea tree din from my student supply skin. Ayan. Ta-da! Alright. So, let's compare four of them. I'm halfway through. Oh, it smells like tea tree. And I don't really like the smell of tea tree. But it smells like tea tree. Nag-iiba-iba yung amoy ng tea tree across brand. And this one, it smells like tea tree. It's, it's recognizable, it's tea tree. Iba yung amoy ng Zell Aroma tea tree. Parang mas mellow, ganyan. Young Living's tea tree. Hmm, ganun yung amoy ng Beryl. Amoy Young Living tea tree. Yung amoy tea tree, ganyan. Konti na, halfway. <laughs> and then, my school, yeah. So, let's smell the tea tree from my student supplies kit. Hmm. Smells like tea tree. I, I don't like it. <laughs> Ayoko yung amoy niya, pero I need it, so I use it. Okay. So, tea tree is good for me. Nang burial. Ihiwalay ko nga yung parang okay for me. So far, I think, tatlo lang. Tatlo pa lang. Tatlo pa lang. Okay, next, frankincense. We have it in, I think I have it in, Young Living. I have it in um, Zell Aroma. I know. I Young Living. And then Beryl. Okay. Iba yung amoy niya. Hindi ko ma-recognize. Different. Alam mo, iba yung amoy ng Young Living talaga. It's like... Mm, I love it. 
I love this for my ano, facial serum. My favorite. And then, Zeneroma. Iba rin yung niya, pero parang mas pleasant. Yung parang mas uplifting. Parang ganyan. So, that's the Zeneroma Frank. Kasi parang kayang living mas intense. Kay Zeneroma yung parang parang casual day. I'm happy today. Ganyan. This one is different. Ibuhos na natin. It's really different. Um, but the, you you know that it's frankincense. Parang ganyan. You would recognize that it's frankincense. Iba lang talaga yung amoy niya. Kasi frankincense, as it is, it smells like pang temple. So parang ganun naman. It smells pang temple. Like when you smell myrrh and when you smell elemi. Yung mga resinous oils. Amoy pang temple sila. <laughs> so this one to me is para siyang pang temple. Okay, next oil. Hindi yata ito na-arrange alphabetically. I just put it there. So Next is pine needle. I have a couple of these. I know I have it in my student supplies kit. There. And I think yun lang. So I have it in now. And I have it in Barrett. Let's compare. This oil, pine oil, is a good oil for respiratory support. Hmm. Okay. No, may mga fir tree. It smells like that. Um, it smells like your eucalyptus, yung mga ganyan. Yeah, kaya siya respiratory support oil. I, I don't really use this, but maybe I should <laughs> when I'm, you know, having my cup. Pero it's part of this oil. I think it. It's not part of this oil. I thought it was, but anyway. Um, iba yung amoy niya, pero amoy ano siya? Amoy, amoy pang linis ng CR? Amoy pang linis siya ng CR? Amoy pine sol? Like that. Don't like it. Next is fennel. I don't think I have any. Oh, I think I have it in my student supplies kit. Yes, I do. Ayan. So I have it in my Mithail Zayat bottle. Wala na akong ibang fennel, alam ko. Because I don't use fennel much. I don't have like personal need for it. So I don't have fennel. Oh. It's nice. Um. I'm not really familiar of fennel and its smell. It's not part of my ano, stock knowledge. Pero iba. This smells like my childhood. Parang pagkain sa childhood ko. So I parang, when I smell, parang, oy, I remember that smell. And it's from my childhood. But I don't remember... I can't pinpoint which specifically, pero parang naamoy ko siya ng kabataan ko. This one is different though. Yung sweet fennel, is it the same Latin binomial? It is funiculum vulgare. But this is like the dolce variety though. So, not because that's a sweet fennel. That's a sweet variety. That's why it smells more pleasant. Can't say much about fennel, but I would say it's good. Because it smells like the plant. And um, it takes me back to my childhood. I just don't remember kung alin doon. But it's, it's a pleasant uh, memory. Yeah. Hindi siya off-putting or what. Next is Sweet Orange. So this is one of my favorites too. This is Citrus Sinensis. Yan. Meron tayo kay Zellaruma. Oh, so good. One of my favorites. And I have it here with plant therapy. I know I also have it in um, <gasps> doTERRA. They gave, oh no, this is different. Wild orange no doTERRA, it's different. I got this when I was in Davao. Jen gave it to me. Thank you, Jen. I love you so much. Um, wala na akong ibang sweet orange. I think. I do have a lot of oranges, but I think this is it. 
Because tangerine is different. Alright, so let's start with. I love this. This is pasado to me. I love it. But then again, you know, sweet orange is also one of the oils that are consistently similar. There's not much difference across brands. I have it in plant therapy. It smells amazing. I love it. I keep it as part of my student supplies kit. And then you, you guys all know I love my Zellaroma Sweet Orange. It's like my favorite. Plus ilang ilang oil. That's like my ride or die inhaler scent that I carry around almost everywhere. Since it's in hot kuto talaga. And then one time, na iwan siya ng isang student na bukas nag evaporate. I was so devastated. <laughs> no, I make sure I cap it really, really well. Next is ilang ilang. Now this is very tricky, cause well, I took a whiff from this, and um, I know this is different. It's not the same ilang ilang that I have in my stash, and I have ilang ilang in three brands, three other brands right now, and you can even compare it to the old burial if you wish. Ayan, so I have five ilang ilangs here. I have burial. I have casa, which is like my favorite, and you guys know that. I have my recently purchased Aura Kasha ilang ilang, and I also adore this. This is ilang ilang three. I have Young Living, which is like ilang ilang complete, or at the end of the distillation process, therefore mas ni matapang yung amoy. And I have this other old burial that I honestly don't really like at all. Okay? So let's start with the new burial. Okay, um, it smells okay, but it's still different. Alam mo yun, yung parang, mm, it's not the one that I'm looking for. Like when you take a whiff of this, oh, so good. It makes me feel warm inside. Kano yung effect kesa? In fact, I'm having goosebumps right now. <laughs> Ganon yung effect niya ng ilang-ilang sa akin. Parang, I'm being embraced by someone that I really, really love. Yung parang ganyan. I am I am embraced by Chris. Ganyan ang effect niya sa akin. So, it should evoke that feeling to me when I smell it. Weird, no? But that's how amazing our oils are. I mean, these oils are. Kasi they evoke emotions and feelings and memories. It's really good. It makes you happy. Ganyan. See, iba talaga. I mean, when you smell ilang-ilang, ito pa lang, oh, this is a good baseline. This is one of my first few ilang-ilang bottles. That's why I fell in love with ilang-ilang. It's honestly because of Casa de Lorenzo's ilang-ilang. Oh. Ito, sobrang fragrant. Kasi ito, fractionated ilang-ilang ito. It has oils from the first distillation, second distillation, third distillation, bam, bam, bam. Therefore, it's more fragrant. The longer you get on to the distillation process, mas nawawala yung fragrance niya, yung parang blossomy flower smell niya. And in fact, yung ilang-ilang one, or this is fractionated, so it has ilang-ilang one. Yung ilang-ilang one, yun yung ginagamit sa perfume industry. Now, ilang-ilang complete is what the purists want. If you want to get like the therapeutic benefit of it lang, you don't really like want, kasi si because a lot of people don't really like the smell of ilang ilang. It reminds them of um, churches, I guess, and um, they don't really like that. But ako, I really love it. They want the ilang ilang complete. So para sa mga purists, I guess they want the complete. But ako, I honestly love the one. I used to see ilang ilang one sa healthy options, but when I, I think that was two three years ago when I first started oiling. Meron silang ilang ilang one and two ganyan. But now when I go to healthy options, it's just ilang-ilang three. Wala na yata yung iba. Kasi they feel na mas mabenta siguro yung ilang-ilang three. And to be honest, mas mahal yung ilang-ilang three. Mas mura yung mga first stages of dissolution. Now, going back to the old burial, I don't wanna even, ano, hindi ko siya ginamit, oh. Puno pa rin siya. Kasi, I honestly don't think this is pure. And, this smells like, I won't tell you what it smells like to me, but, I share it to my students what it smells like to me. And if you've been my student in any of my class, you'd know kung saan ko siya compare. But bottom line is, it smells artificial. The new barrel bottle smells more like a flower. 
Pero hindi pa rin. Yeah, it, it's still different. Um, I don't really like it. Sorry. Next oil is Myrtle. I only think wala akong compare na Myrtle. Wala ba? None. I don't really keep Myrtles. I have no use for Myrtle. So, I can't really compare Myrtle. But, let's take a whiff. Oh, it's refreshing. It's like family of eucalyptuses. Ganun siya. I can't compare this with others, so I can't say anything much about this. Hindi ko siya isasama sa mga Jerby approved. Juniper Berry. Luckily, we have it from Delaroma 2. This is a good kid-friendly respiratory oil. Mm-mm. Yeah, familiar. I mean, you know, it's juniper. Oh, it smells like oh, old baul, but it's juniper. <laughs> Ganon talaga yung amoy na juniper. Amoy baul ng matanda pa. Yeah. Yes, yes, the burial is juniper. And finally, bergamot. It's not bergamot, guys. Don't pasushal something that's so plain. It's not bergamot. It's not French. It's bergamot. It's English. Okay, I have it in Young Living. I have it in Beryl. And I have it in Zanaroma. I think this is a good starting point. Kasi meron tayo YL. Okay. Okay siya. It smells citrusy though. It, it shouldn't smell too citrusy, you know? But this smells too citrusy. And it shouldn't smell that way. In my experience. Like this one. Hindi siya, I know it's from citrus, but it doesn't smell that citrusy. You know what I mean? When I say citrusy, parang nangangamoy orange lemon lime. But you know it's citrus. Yung parang ganun. So ito, ganun siya. Young Living also, it's like that. Yung parang, it's citrus, but it doesn't smell... It, it won't make you feel good. It won't uplift you. Na parang, oh, it's so good. Hindi siya ganun eh. It shouldn't be that way. But this one, yung beryl, medyo amoy citrusy. I mean, it's mabango and it smells like citrusy. So, it's kind of different. It's kind of different. Although, it's pleasant. So, if you are a newbie and you've smelled this, I know you'll love it. Like, when you're a newbie and you've smelled, like ako, if I don't have a benchmark of what myrtle smells like and I smell this, I would love this. Same with this. If you don't have a benchmark of what bergamot is like, you would love this. But since I kind of know what bergamot should more or less smell like, I know it's different. It's kind of different. Anyway, for those 17 sets of oils, I only like 6. So, ito lang yung medyo pumasa sa akin sa smell test. Again, I just want to remind everyone, the smell test is nothing from being 100% accurate. Okay? It's nothing from being a purity test. It's just a first-hand gauge. Kasi when you have smelled a lot of oils across brands, and you've smelled a lot of oils in general, you can train your nose and increase its strength. Yung parang to detect if it's okay, if there's something off. So I, I'm thankful, I feel that I've come to that point. Parang when I smell, parang, ah, there's, there, there's something different. Like this one, it smells something off. Talaga. May iba sa kanya talaga. And I, I would love to share these oils during my free class. You can join my next free class this April. I just had my free class last weekend. And um, it was a nice session. So I'd love to share these oils. And I'd love to, to get to know your feedback as well. So, ayun. Um, for Beryl, I only like their sweet orange, their fennel, their juniper berry, their lemon, clary sage smells fragrant, and tea tree smells the same as the others. I actually got in touch with Beryl again after they sent it, and I asked them for their GCMS test. They sent me a document na hindi kasi yun yung GCMS. So, it's it's a little different. And um, if you are a newbie and you don't really know what you're talking about, kasi parang narinig mo lang dito sa channel na oh, kailangan may GCMS and I should be asking that 
documentation from every every EO company. And then these EO companies start to get smarter than you and then they send you whatever document lang that they have. And hindi mo naman alam ang itsura ng GCMS. You'd say, uy, meron siyang GCMS. So when I asked their GCMS copy, they sent me this document na parang, oh, this is not GCMS, this is a different document. And ang funny pa doon, sa document na sinend niya, naka blurred out pa yung mga chemical constituents. So parang, what's this? This, this doesn't show me anything. The GCMS should tell me if this is pure eh, kung ano yung ranges ng chemical constituent per chemical constituent although i wouldn't really know like what what constituent is for what but at least naman when i decide to sit on it and take my research on it makikita ko para saan siya kung may pesticide ba and all that so wala wala silang ganun and i ano yare para it was an exchange of um conversation i guess i i tried to tell them na you guys have to go back to your um, supplier and tell them that ganito dapat yung itsura ng GCMS. So if it doesn't look like this, I don't think we can trust that supplier as well. So the bottom line is, I can't really tell you the purity of these oils simply because wala pa rin silang GCMS. They, they can't, they haven't provided me um, like a proper documentation about these oils. So, I kind of don't want to use brands that don't have that purity test. Especially if I know na hindi sila yung may gawa. Especially if I haven't seen how they've made it. And especially if binibili lang nila sa iba. Because I don't want to put my, my health, I mean, I don't want to risk my health. And I don't want to risk your health on them also. So, yun lang. Um, I feel that if you are a responsible company and if you are a responsible seller, I think it's one of those things that you have to cover. But you have to cover the basis talaga, even if it's a little expensive. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. That's all for my burial smell test. It's a little long kasi marami tayong oils na we work with and kinumpare ko talaga siya with all of the oils that I have. So medyo hilo na ako ngayon. Hindi naman. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And if you've enjoyed it so much, share it to your friends. Go to my workshop. If you have time, I have my workshop this March 23. I'll put the poster here. So I have my workshop with Enderan and I'll be having my workshop with them every month starting this March. And uh, I also have my free EO 101 class at my studio. So I'll put my link tree down below. There you go. And I'll also put it in the description box so you guys can click it. Register in any of the classes that may interest you. We have a lot of summer classes. As in we have candle making class, perfume making class. The perfume making is using your essential oils. That's very interesting. We also have kiddie soap making class. We have our monthly soap making class. We have our monthly shampoo bar making class. So we guys can bond in person. And you guys can learn a new skill. I'm sure it's going to be a fun day. And yeah, I guess that's all for today. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!